So in this lesson, we are basically going to solve question number seven. That is where we are going to determine the current through a 200 microfarad capacitor whose voltage is shown in the graph below. So in this question, here we have this graph that is a voltage versus time graph. And this basically describes the voltage across the capacitor. Now for each interval, we have a straight line that is basically describing a particular function. So from 0 to 1, we have this straight line describing a function, a particular function. From 1 to 3, we also have this straight line also describing a particular function. And then from 3 to 4, we also have a straight line describing that function. And so this can be considered as species of functions coming together to form a bigger function. And then we are going to consider each of the three intervals and then based on that, we can find or we can obtain the voltage across the 200 microfarad capacitor. Then after that, we can use the current voltage relationship equation that is to find the current through the 200 microfarad capacitor. So that is basically what we are going to do. So first of all, from the question, we know that we have the capacitance of the capacitor C to be equal to 200 microfarad and that is basically 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 farad. Now we are going to consider each of the time intervals. So let's say, let's say from 0 to 1, that is 0 is less than t is less than 1, considering the interval from 0 to 1, let's try to write down the points. So for the initial point, that is this point we have on the t-axis, that is 0. And then on the voltage axis, we still have 0. So that is the point zero zero. And for the final point, along the t-axis, we have 1. Along the v of t-axis, we have 50. So that is 1, 50. So based on this, because this is a straight line, we are going to use the equation of a straight line, which is given by y equals mx plus c. Now in this case, we have the y, that is this axis to be v of t, the voltage axis, and then we have m to be the gradient, we have x in this case to be t. So this is t and then plus c, where c is the y-intercept, the point at which the line crosses the y-axis, the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. So at this point, we try to find the gradient. So we know gradient is changing y, changing y over changing x. So let's say y2 minus y1, that is 50 minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1. So that is 1 minus 0. So this becomes 50 divided by 1 and that is equal to 50. So basically this is the gradient of this straight line. Now from away from this, we are going to use this equation to find the C, the value of C. So we can take or we can consider each of the two points. Any one will do. So considering the first point, we have V of T to be zero. This is that value. So that is zero equals, we have M to be 50, that is from here. And then we have the value of T also to be zero. So 0 plus C. Now in this case, you realize that 50 times 0 is 0. So therefore, we are going to have C to be equal to 0. So we have 50, that is M equals 50, and then we have C equals 0. Therefore, we have the equation, that is this equation, giving us this straight line to be equal to, that is V of T is equal to 50 T plus zero okay so you can basically say this is equal to 50 t so this is the equation that gives us this straight line that is from zero to one now let's move on to the second interval that is from one to three so from one to three that is the interval one is less than t is less than three and then we have the initial point that is 150 and we have the final point that is 3 negative 50 so 3 
negative 50. So we try to find the gradient y2 minus y1. This is y2 negative 50 minus y1 50 or divided by 3 minus 1. This is equal to negative 100 divided by 2 and this is equal to negative 50. So that is the value of that is the value of m. And then for c, considering let's say this point, we have v of t to be 50. So 50 equals m is negative 50 times t. t is 1. So 1 and then plus c. So from this, we can have 50 equals negative 50 plus c. We transpose this to the left hand side, it becomes positive. 50 plus 50 is 100. Therefore, we have c to be equal to 100. Now, in that regard, we have the function v of t to be negative 50t plus 100. So this is the voltage across the capacitor from 1 to... That is the formula that gives the voltage across the capacitor from 1 to 3. Now let's move on to the third interval. That is where we have the interval from 3 to 4. So that is 3 is less than t is less than 4. Here we have the initial point that is 3 negative 50. And then we have the final point that is we have four zero okay four zero so trying to find the gradient we have m to be equal to y2 minus y1 zero minus negative 50 or divided by we are going to have here 4 minus 3 and basically this is equal to 50 divided by 1 and that is equal to 50. Now to find the value of c we consider this point so we have negative 50 that is v of t equals gradient we have 50 times value for t that is 3 that is basically 3 and then plus c so this becomes negative 50 and then this is 150 you transpose it to the left hand side it becomes negative 150 equals c now you evaluate this and then you have c equals negative 200 so this is the value of c now in that regard we are going to have the function v of t to be equal to 50 t minus 200 and this is v of t considering the interval from 3 to 4. So basically these are the pieces of functions. These are the pieces of functions that combine for us to get this graph. So here we can say that we can say that we have v of t that is the bigger function v of t to be equal to we have the first function to be that is v of t equals 50 t so we have 50 t that is considering the interval 0 is less than t is less than 1 and then secondly we have this function negative 50 t plus 100 that is from 1 is less than t is less than 3 and then we have this third function 50t minus 200 that is 3 is less than t is less than 4 and then we have 0 that is otherwise at any other point in time aside from the interval that has been described here we have the value of the voltage to be equal to 0 now this is the voltage across the capacitor in terms of function using the current voltage relationship that is considering the formula i of t equals 
c times dvin dt using this formula we are going to find the current that passes through the capacitor don't forget that we have the capacitance c to be 200 microfarad that is 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 farad now considering each of the intervals let's say for the first one that is a considering the interval 0 is less than t is less than 1 considering this interval we are going to have i to be equal to so that is c so 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times ddt of the function 50t so we are going to have i equals 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times now when you differentiate 50t with respect to t then you are going to have 50 now when you multiply these two values 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times 50 then you are going to obtain 0 0.01 amperes so 0 0.01 amperes and then we can rewrite this in terms of milliamperes that is where we are going to move the decimal point three times to the right so we move it one two three and then we have 10 milliamperes so this is basically 10 milliamperes so that is for the interval zero to one and then we move on to b also we are going to have the interval one is less than t is less than three and also we have i to be equal to 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times ddt of the function that is negative 500 sorry negative 50 t plus 100 so for this also we are going to have 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times now when you differentiate negative 50t you have negative 50 when you differentiate 100 which is a constant you have zero so we have zero here now when you multiply these two values like we did here this time you are going to have negative 10 milliamperes now let's move on to c for c we are going to have the interval 3 is less than t is less than 4 and then here we have i to be equal to that is 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times d dt of the function this function 50 t minus 200 now with respect to this we are going to have 200 times 10 to the power negative 6 times we differentiate this with respect to t we have 50 this is a constant so it goes to 0 it means that we are going to have 10 milliamperes that is i okay that is i so now we can represent the various values of i in terms of interval in a graph so how do we do that we can just put it here for the sake of space we can have this to be the current time graph so let's say this is the current time graph so from 0 to 1 that is 0 to 1 we have 10 milliamperes and then from 1 to 3 we have negative 10 milliamperes so it reduces and then we have from 1 to 3 negative 10 and then lastly from 3 to 4 it goes back to 10 milliamperes so this is it and then at any other period of time except what has been described we have the value of the current to be zero so basically this is the current through the 200 
microfarad capacitor.